So it's time to make the chili. It's on the front of it. I have fresh cilantro, a bunch of jalapeno and habanero peppers, some green tomatoes or tomatillas, sweet green peppers, fresh onions, beef broth, tomato sauce, chuck steak that's been cubed, brown cumin, black pepper, paprika, minced garlic, and salt. I'll be prepping these ingredients today, putting them in that crock pot, and slowly cooking it for three, three to five hours. We'll see what happens. Here's all the ingredients that have now been chopped up. Here's my cilantro. My jalapeno peppers. I have decided not to use the habaneros. Um, this is a church function, so I figured I'd tone it down just a little bit. There's my green tomatoes or tomatillas, chopped onions, chopped green sweet peppers, and again, my beef broth, tomato sauce, my steak is waiting which is my next thing to do. I'll be frying that up and getting it ready. And still go with the cumin, black pepper, paprika, garlic, and salt. As soon as the beef gets finished, I will be putting it in the crock pot. And again, like I said earlier, cooking it for maybe four hours, three to five. Thank you. Okay, I added the, as you can see, I've added the paprika. Salt, cumin, and the black pepper in here, and all the other ingredients. Now we're going to mix. This will break down as it cooks. the beef was cooking, I've added the onions, jalapenos, green peppers, and garlic. And cooking these together for a little while until the beef is done, which I think it did at this point. Here. 
Hmm. And the cilantro. Okay, come with me and let's see how this is going on. And the leaf broth. Oh, yeah. it's special it's here. Tender. And then go with the mm. sodium. Okay. The meat melts in your mouth, and the flavors and seasonings blend beautiful together. Mm. Another very hearty, very tasty chili.